Alright guys, so today is the jewelry unboxing day. I'm so excited for this. So as you guys know, I did get this entire shoebox full of jewelry at a yard sale for just $5. I was going through it at the sale, but nothing was priced. So I was like, it would take me all day to go through this box at the sale. So I was just going to ask the lady how much she'd take for the entire box. And I was expecting to pay at least 20 plus dollars for the box. And she said $5. So went ahead and took it. So we're going to go through it. Now she did say most of it was costume and it does seem like, um, just like looking at the through the top and everything like that it does seem like you know a lot of costume jewelry in here but when i was going through it i did notice some pieces were marked so we're gonna go through everything i do have a jewelry loop i guess is what they're called to you know those magnifying glass type things to see marks better uh but i do not have any kind of other jewelry testing kits like to test for gold and stuff like that like the acid testing kits so if anyone has any suggestions for um something i could purchase to maybe test any of this if i find anything that looks you know like it could be something uh let me know down in the comments so we're just gonna go through everything this might be a long video i may have to make it into two parts <laughs> depending on how long this takes because this is a seven pound box this is very heavy i know it might not seem like it would be very heavy but it is seven pounds of jewelry so we're just gonna go through everything i'm hoping Hoping nothing is really badly um, tangled up in here, <laughs> but we shall see. So hopefully you'll be able to see all of this jewelry pretty well. So this is just a really nice necklace. This is definitely like a costume piece. Um, I don't see any markings on it. It just has like a toggle uh, style piece like that but that is pretty I like the sound that makes all right okay so this is just hold on see we're already tangled this is just a little angel pin right here that's on the cardboard I'll go through some of this stuff laying right on top here um hold on let me read this it says Lauren's idea handcrafted jewelry designs this just looks like a gold toned pin like that this is a box that says bonton and inside is a monet necklace this still has the tag it says that it retailed for 30 dollars so that's pretty this actually does have some nice weight to it it is not a necklace it is a bracelet and again with the toggle and it is marked monet there that's really pretty I like that so it just looks like that this is my first time doing a video like like this as far as the camera facing down I'm just hoping it all <laughs> looks well for you guys um, next here we have a Boyd's pin um, this appears to just be a black and white plastic um, beaded necklace so I don't see any markings on that. I'm <laughs> trying to take stuff so it's not going to be tangled too bad. So this is a um, pearl style looking necklace. Um, again, I don't see any markings though on it. So those are probably just plastic beads. Here we have a etched looking bangle bracelet I don't see markings on that either so it just opens with a hinge there can I get it back shut yes there we go um here is oh this is cute this is a little brooch of a pair of scissors so that'd be cute for someone who you know, is either a hairdresser or just into like sewing or something like that. Nice blingy rhinestone look to it. 
Um, let's see. This piece has some weight to it. So these are some pretty beads. These feel like glass beads. They don't feel like plastic. Um, but again, I don't see a like maker mark or anything on it, but I like the look of that and the color kind of has just like a boho styled look to it. Um, this here is a really long necklace. Um, it feels very lightweight. It does, this one is marked. This says it is by Cookie Lee. It's marked here on the whatchamacallit. So that's pretty. Pretty necklace there. So that one is marked Cookie Lee. Um, let's see. This one has this pendant right here on a chain. So a little chain necklace. The chain on this, I doubt you guys will be able to see that on my camera, but the chain on this necklace is marked 925 Italy. So maybe someone just put this pendant on this particular chain because I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I don't see, I don't see a mark on the pendant. So I think maybe someone just put that pendant on there. Uh, here we have a really pretty tennis bracelet with some red stones on it. So that is very pretty. Um, let's see. We got something stuck. We got this necklace here. It's black and gold. Kind of like chain link look on the longer side. Um, this one is also marked Cookie Lee. We got that here. I'm also seeing another Cookie Lee piece. Which is just this long necklace. And it has like a shell pendant there on the bottom, but that still has the tags attached. Looks like it originally retailed for $36. Um, here we have just a long chain necklace. I don't see any markings on that, so. It's a long chain necklace. Um, here's another long one. There's a lot of long, Long necklaces in here. Okay, we'll go with this one since it's not all tangled up. But this one is a long with pearl looking beads. These do feel like plastic as well. Um, let's see. This is marked Trafari. So that's pretty. Here we have just a brushed gold toned looking um, bangle bracelet. And it does have a really pretty etching there on it. Hopefully you guys can see that very nicely. I don't see a marking on that. This is a actual clock here, a watch, heart-shaped. It is on a necklace, a long gold chain necklace. That just is, says quartz Japan movement. Not really seeing any other markings on that. That's really pretty though. Um, this is one of those things you would put on the side of a table when you're out somewhere to hang your uh, purse on. I never used one of these, but I remember they were kind of really popular quite a few years ago. Um, here we have a really pretty bracelet. This one also feels like glass beads, um, some sort of stone. And I don't see a maker's mark, but that hinge on there, I mean, that's really pretty, very ornate looking. I like that. That's a really cute bracelet. Um, ba -da -bum -bum -bum. Here's another long one. My goodness. <laughs> so this is a long red um, beaded necklace here. Um... Do we have a marking on you? I don't see one, but I will go over these a little bit better um, 
when I have the, the time. I'm not sure how I'm going to list these, like if I'm going to list any separately or lot stuff up. I have no idea. If anyone has suggestions, let me know. Or if there's like a piece that you see that you're interested in, let me know and I'll get it listed for you. This looks like um, you put your eyeglasses, you attach your eyeglasses to these. Um, so then you can just like throw them around your neck when you're not wearing them. So that's what that is. That's not actually a necklace. These are for your eyeglasses. And let's see, we got this one here, which has an earring attached to it. Hold on, let me get that off. This one's really pretty. It is like multi, multi-string beads. It's a little tangled up here, but I like that stone pendant there at the the bottom that's really pretty um do we have a mark on this one i don't see okay moving along we got this gold toned chain style bracelets so i don't see a mark on that this is a bracelet does it say g GG, it's like a stretchy um, metal bracelet. I love how this thing feels, but I imagine like your arm hair getting caught in the ridges of this thing and pulling and it hurts. It does say made in Korea on the back of it. Um, here we have a little pin that says 1928. That's really pretty. Uh, as I drop it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Here's another long bracelet. This one's a gold chain with these really pretty green um, stones on it. And that one, the clasp up here does say Korea on it. Um, Okay, here we go. This isn't too bad. Here is another long necklace with these, um, they kind of have like, I don't know, are those buttons or shells? I'm not entirely sure, but this one is also a Cookie Lee necklace that is marked. Um, here we have a long white beaded necklace. This does feel like plastic. Um, this is marked Sarah Coventry on it. Um, this is a keychain, <laughs> uh, key ring here. Oh, it's by Stone Mountain. So this probably had originally come with a um, purse maybe, or maybe it was just a, an accessory that was sold separately. Here we have a black organza bag with what looks to be a necklace inside. This one is a little bit tangled up, but it appears to be a very long necklace with these blue beads on. Um, and that is also marked Korea. So I'm not sure, like, I, I don't know much about jewelry, guys. So I don't know if things marked Korea, is that like an older thing or is that a newer thing? Um, I am, I am not sure. Okay, here we have another kind of gold toned necklace. It looks like this and I'm not seeing any markings on that either. Some of this stuff, um, I probably will put through my jewelry cleaner, um, just to get it all shined up. Here is just a purple plastic beaded necklace. My grandmother, she used to wear these types of necklaces all the time. Like every outfit she had, she would have this really pretty um, beaded costume necklace to go with all of her outfits. That and clip on earrings. She always dressed to the nines, <laughs> even to go to the grocery store. I miss her so much. Uh, let's see. And here we have a pair of earrings. 
I did notice some earrings in here as well as rings. So they'll prob they're probably like all shuffled down into the bottom of this um, box here. But here is these earrings. So those are really pretty. Um, these ones are marked 925. So those are made with silver, sterling silver. So those are pretty little danglies there. Um, in here, this is another little plastic bag. This looks like a little set, like a matching set. So it has a necklace. And then it has matching stud earrings to go with it. And I don't see, I don't see um, a maker on that set, but that's cute. There's four pairs of matching earrings to that. Here's another really pretty tennis bracelet. Let me get this. Is this broke? Hold on. I don't even know how this works, guys. Give me a second. Okay, I think I figured it out. Yeah, I figured it out. So it's a really pretty tennis bracelet. I love that. It's got like a yellowish green color to it. I'm so good at describing things. Yellowish green. Um, this does appear to be marked 925, and there is a... <clears throat> A maker mark I'd assume on there it looks like an initial of some kind so that's really pretty uh, we got a little wooden pin here that says happy holidays uh, this was in a little plastic bag not sure what it is I think it's a pin yes it is a pin it just looks like that I don't see any kind of marks on the back of it though What's down here in this plastic? Yeah, there's something in here. In this plastic case here. What do we got? What do we got? Looks like, what is that? A pair of earrings? Yup. Got another pair of earrings here. Those are nice. Those feel like glass as well. Like they have some heft to them. Those are pretty. But I don't see like a mark on them. Here we go. Another tennis bracelet. Looks very similar to the one that I just showed, but a little bit more on the green side. But again, this one is marked what appears to be 925 here on the end. Um, this is a long necklace, white with some green beads. And those feel like plastic. Um, here's a clear one. Got some bigger clear beads on the end there. Um, and I don't see anything on the clasp of that. Again, a really long necklace. Uh, this one does look like it has a mark though. Hold on. Is this Cookie Lee? Yep. That one is Cookie Lee as well. Ooh, this one's pretty. Ooh, I really like this one. Hopefully you guys can see this pretty well. Um, I like the color of the beads on this. I think that's really pretty. And then the pendant part looks like that. That's really nice. And that feels heavy. Like it feels like maybe glass beads and then a toggle there. I like that one. Um, let's see. Here's one. Check out that pendant. That's really pretty. Not sure what that is made of, but I do like the look of that. Okay, doke. Here we have a pretty dainty necklace with these. They look um, kind of like wire wrapped style, the beads do. And I don't see any markings on that. 
Oh wow, here's another long one. <laughs> this is so long. Um, but this does have weight to it as well. So are these shells maybe? These are really pretty. I like the look of those. I'm looking for a clasp to see if we could find a maker's mark, but okay, yeah, here, it's over here. Um, I don't see one, but that is really nice. I like the look of that. And that, like I said, has some weight to it. Here's a pair of black earrings. These are pierced. I didn't see any clip, I didn't see any clip-ons yet. Um, so far, they have all been pierced ears. Those say bohemian glass. I just don't know with stuff like this if someone put them on this backing or, you know, if that backing is original. I'm not sure. Here's a little guardian angel pin here is a bracelet it's got this like metal piece but then this side is potentially like a leather um and that is marked it says liz o u l i z o u right there so, not quite sure what that is. Um, here we have a necklace. This still has the tag. So this is just a long beaded dealie. Um, but that is Trafari. That still has the original tag attached. To me that looks like an older tag. So I'm assuming this might be like a vintage piece. It does, you know, kind of gives me that 90s vibe. Um, we got this necklace. I almost said bracelet. I really like this one as well. That's really pretty. Um, again, it, they feel like glass beads there with like the nice toggle clasp. I really like that one. I think that's so pretty and I love the colors of it as well. Um, here is another necklace with some purple beads. This one looks like it still has the original price on it. Someone paid $13 for it. So that's really pretty. Um, here's just a very thin, dainty bangle bracelet. This was probably from like a, a bangle stack. Um, oh, I see a watch here. Oh, goodness. There's a fossil watch in here. That's really nice. Really pretty white fossil watch. So it probably needs a battery, but that's really nice. Got that. Um, here is a necklace. That looks like that. That's really pretty too. Um, don't see a mark on that, but it's it's kind of like lightweight. And we got a bracelet. This one has some weight to it as well. Do you have a maker though? I don't see one, at least not off first glances there. But that's really pretty. Um, this is another eyeglass um, for your eyeglasses. So not a necklace, but you could take these apart and use the beads to make a necklace or just take off these parts you know you can because this is just this is just on these little eyeglass piece parts we're just on the um hook yeah they come right off so yeah you can wear that as a necklace that's that's awesome that they did something like that um okay oh these earrings actually match that pin I showed earlier, which I have laying right here. So it's a whole little matching set there. Um, here's another watch. This one says Gem Essence. I wanna say it says Gem Essence is what I see. So this has a really pretty purple look to the strap. Like looks like a bracelet. 
Um, here's another, <laughs> another long one here. Um, hold on. <clears throat> I'm going to take a sip of drink. My mouth gets dry when I'm talking for so long. Um, so this one here, I don't see like a clasp on it. It's just one that, you know, goes right over your head type of thing. Oh, here is a pair of earrings. These are really pretty. I feel like these might match another piece of jewelry that I showed. Yeah, yeah, they kind of match ever so slightly. This necklace is a little darker than the earrings, but they kind of match that um, necklace I showed earlier that I really liked. Here is another bracelet. These are like black glass flat round beads. This is really pretty. Um, I don't see a maker, but those are really nice glass beads. Um, here we have a bracelet. I really like this one too. Look at how gorgeous that is. I hope, I just hope to goodness gracious that this video is coming out. Okay, guys. Um, this one is marked Cookie Lee. I really like that. Um, okay. Here we have what looks like, um, an arrowhead pendant. That's really pretty pretty. Um, don't see any markings on it, but that's cute. I like that. Um, here's another long one for you guys <laughs> with an earring attached to it. Hold on. Thankfully, not, I haven't been having a whole lot of struggle with, um, untangling this stuff, so they must have at least tried to lay it in neatly. Um, this one is marked, I'm not sure what this stands for, there is a little charm here with the letter V on it, but that's really cute. I like that necklace. Um, here's another just thin gold bangle bracelet. Um, this is just a pendant, so it needs to be put on a necklace. That's really pretty though. Don't see a marking on that. I like the sound that it makes. Here's another really pretty tennis bracelet. This one is green. Like that. And do you have a marking? Boop. I don't see one, but that's cute. Okay, I see another watch. This one is a Timex watch. Looks like that. I'm assuming all these watches will need batteries. I don't know if I've ever like purchased a watch at a yard sale or gotten a watch that didn't need a battery. Um, let's see. This one is just a long black. Well, it's not really all that long, but it's got like multi strands of these black um, little beads on it. Here we have a gold toned bracelet that does look like it's marked. Um, what are you marked? Oh goodness. I still can't make out what that says. Yeah, it does have a, a stamp on it, but I can't make it out yet still. So I might have to get Eric to check that one. Um, here's another really pretty bracelet. Looks like that. And don't see anything on that one. I see a watch down here. This one's just marked Quintel. Quintel Quartz Diamond is what that is marked. Looks like this. Um, what's this? It's a little crab. I found a little crab pin in here. How cute is he? Boop, 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 boop. Sorry guys, I'm playing around. I can't help it. Little crabby pin. Oh my gosh, we found another fossil watch in here. Oh, look at how pretty that one is. This one's black. I like that one too. So we got a white one and a black one. 
Okay, here is a pretty thick, like, chain link toggle style bracelet. That's nice. Um, here's another one of these um, bracelets like I showed earlier, the stretchy one. Okay, we got this ring here, this funky ring. It's got like a big blue stone in it. I don't see, I don't see any markings on that. So I'm not quite sure about it. Um, here's another watch. This one is marked Waltham. Waltham? That seems so small. Okay, it does stretch. At first I was like, oh, that must be for a child. But it does, it does stretch. I can put that on. Just looks like that. That's cute. Um, let's see. We got this guy here. This necklace. Just looks like this. Has some pretty, like, silver and gold toned, um gems on it um we got another watch this one is marked vivani vivani that's pretty here's a ring Ooh, i like this one kind of chunky but i like the the look of that and da, 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 da. That is marked 925 on the inside. Um, okay, here's a bracelet. That's pretty. I like that one. It's got this black with rhinestones around it. And it is marked 925 as well. It does say China. China 925 so not sure guys not sure here is a ring look at that big chunk of lunka lunka why can't this be like some amazing gem worth like a million dollars um let's see there's something marked in it what does it say I feel like I see 925 in this as well and some other things that I can't really tell yet. I have really bad eyes even with a magnifying glass. So <laughs> I'm going to have to get Eric to read some stuff off for me. Okay, I'm going to attempt to pull out some of these earrings. Hopefully all of the earrings do have their pair. So these ones have this really pretty like pearl bead on and they have this brushed gold um, look to them. Um, okay, I'm assuming, yes, here is a pair of blue heart earrings. That look like this. Do you have a mark on? I don't see one. They feel like, um, just like a light. Well, no, that sounds like glass to me. Um, do we have, oh, wait, here we go. We have ear, all right, guys, I apologize. My camera um, went off. I think I ran out of um, memory. <laughs> uh, but I was showing you these earrings that actually match that bracelet here. It's still on my pile here. Um, so these actually go together. Um, here we have another bracelet. Looks like this. It's the thick chain bracelet there and this is marked something what you mark there i can't tell um it is marked 925 again i thought 925 was silver but this looks like a gold color guys i as i stated i don't know anything about jewelry why is that you had to let me know Ed educate me <laughs> so here we have a thin um, chain necklace. Just looks like this. I don't see any markings on that. Um, wait, hold on. We got a lizard here. We got a little lizard. 
pin. That's cute. Don't see any markings on that either. It's a little gold tone lizard. Um. Okay, here's seeing if we have pairs here. We got some gold chunky earrings here. So some of these don't have like back posts to them, but you know, we can get some of those, right? Um, here we got another ring. Looks like this. And this one is marked. I feel like that says Avon inside of that one. Here is a very hefty black um, stretchy beaded bracelet. That's got some weight to it. Um, here we got another watch. This one is called West Clocks with an X. That definitely needs cleaned up. It's a little bit tarnished there. Um, okay, so this is where it's getting hard because we're like down to the nitty gritty here. So there's probably some earrings that I'm gonna have to make sure have pairs. This is a really dainty necklace with a little heart pendant on it. Um, I feel like that also has a marking. But again, I'm gonna have to get Eric's help. Um, the chain is marked Monet, but someone might have just put the pendant because the pendant does have a mark as well. So someone might have just put that pendant on that chain. Um, here we have a pair of earrings. I do see the other one down here. So they look like this. Nice pretty blue color. And they appear to be glass as well. Oh no, we've come across some tangleage here. Untangle yourself. Here we go. Got like all these earrings attached to it. So here is another necklace. Looks like that. And I feel like someone maybe just put that again on uh, the chain that it's attached to. <clears throat> here we got another long necklace, gold with white rings attached to it. Looks like that. Um, these, this looks like the Anne Klein logo, the lion. So these are probably Anne Klein earrings. I do recognize the lion on that. Um, here's a little, this is a little Snyder's of Hanover pin. They make pretzels and stuff like that. Um, here's a little gold toned bracelet, little chain bracelet that is marked Avon. Here is a, what looks like a little pendant with a red stone. That's really pretty. Um, that is marked 925, and again, I feel like that says China on it. Here we have a little baggie that has a bracelet inside. Oh, and matching earrings. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, I'll show you the bracelet first. I really like the look of this one as well. It's pretty blue beaded bracelet. So I don't know if maybe these were handmade, potentially. And then it has the matching earrings. These are like fish hook style earrings. I'm trying to find like the best way. Maybe I should have been laying stuff in my hand all along. If I do another video like this, we'll we'll come to figure out the best way how, how to go about doing it all. Um, this is a really pretty, um, pin the red stone in the center there that's nice I don't see any marking on that 
Um, oh, here's a ring. This one's pretty. I like the look of that. That one is marked Avon. That's probably why. I like Avon jewelry. I think Avon jewelry, a lot of it is really pretty. Um, next we have this necklace here. Looks like that. And I don't see a maker's mark on that. Do, do, do. I'm like trying to see if I'm seeing like pairs to the earrings here. It's a hair. Um, this is a pretty little bracelet there with the blue stones. I don't see any mark on that either. Okay, I see a pair of something. These little um, silver heart earrings pair. I like that there's pairs. Hopefully there's pairs to everything. Here's another really pretty blue bracelet. Oh, it goes like that. It's the wrong way, Michelle. Wrong way, Michelle. Here we have a little pin down here of an angel. Angel pin blowing her horn. Uh, la, 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 la. Okay, I found another ring. Here we go. This ring right here. That's pretty. What are you? It looks like an Avon ring to me. But is it? Is it now? Um... I feel like it is. I feel like that's what I see. Um, this is just a pendant, just a blue stone pendant. So it would need to go on a chain. Um, are you guys seeing pairs to anything down here? Or have we come to, no, I do. I see a pair right here. A pair of matching earrings. These ones are blue, look like that. So we got a pair there. Oh, I see another pair here. We're doing good, we're doing good. These ones are like purple, purple danglies there. Those are marked 925. Seeing another pair here. These guys here. These are Liz Claiborne, I believe. I do see an LC on the back of that. Seeing another pair. These ones are black, kind of like wire wrapped. I think we had a necklace that these potentially go to. So if I do, um, as I'm going through this, See, like there's earrings that obviously matched a necklace. I will put them together. Here is just a pendant. Again, needs a um, chain for it. That's really blingy. Again, why can't you be like some amazing gem there? Um. Oh, I see another ring. Here we go. That one's pretty with the green stone in it. Um, are you marked? On your mark. Gets it. Um, I don't, I, I really like, I don't see anything in that one. Okay. Okay. There's a pin. This is a little American flag pin. I'm seeing, oh, oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, guys, check these out. Those are cute. Look at these. These are marked Laurel Birch. That's awesome. I wonder if they're worth anything. I'll have to look those up. Those are really pretty. It's a shame they're not cats though, right? Um, here we have a little Christmas tree pin. Um, these dangly 
earrings here. And that's a pair. We got ourselves a pair. Um, these ones here. Ooh, I like those too. I look like that. I'm not seeing maker's marks on these though, guys. Um, here's another little pin. This one is also a flag with a heart around it. Um, <laughs> what are we seeing down here? Here's a necklace. Let's go with that. This necklace here with this pretty pendant on it. That's pretty. Ooh, that shines really, really nicely. That one is marked. Oh, goodness. The little tag here is really tarnished, so I'm going to have to clean that up and see if I can see it better. Oh, this is so sad, guys. Look at this. This is a little pin, and it has a picture of a military. It's got a military picture in there. Huh. I don't understand why people get rid of stuff like this. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, here is another little guardian angel pin. It's got like a safety pin attached to it. There is some like what looks like trash down into the bottom of this box. Um, we got these earrings here. Got a pair there. Um, do we got any more pairs, guys? Here's a pair. Found a pair. These ones are dangly. Pretty dangly ones here. Here's a pendant. A little heart pendant. Looks like that. Just needs a necklace. Is this an earring? No, this is a pin. A little Christmas bell pin. Oh, here's a bracelet. Looks like that. Those are made out of stones of some sort. Okay, here's a pair. These little... Triangle, green triangle earrings. So pretty. This looks like a pair here. Look like this. I like that there's pairs, but I really don't think that all of these are pairs because looking in here, I'm not seeing some of others that I'm seeing. I feel like this kind of goes with a necklace that I saw too earlier, but I'm unsure. Here is a little gold toned bracelet. Here's a pair. These ones look like that. Oh, I see another pair. This is getting a little easier since we're getting down here now. These ones are black and silver. There is like a piece to something there. Not quite sure what I'm looking at. Um, oh, right there's a pair. I just threw, threw it on top of the other one. Those are pretty. I like those. And da -da 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 -da. oh, here's a pair. Little like triangle looking with the bead. And this also, like, I don't know, this could be an earring, this could be a pin, it's a little angel. But I feel, ooh, look it, I'm rich, I found a penny. What year is on that? 1993. That was a good year, right? Um, oh goodness, oh goodness, oh here, we do, we have another pair of these, like, peachy colored coral um, little danglies there. 
Um, here's another pair. Look like that. But I think there was a hair attached to that, so I apologize, guys. Um, these are marked 9W on the back. I'm not quite sure what that stands for. Here's another pair of danglies. Here's another pair. Those are pretty. Like those. One has a back. No, they both have backs. I was going to say, I thought one had a back and one didn't. Um, I feel like, oh, wait, no, do, does this have a pair? I'm not seeing, I'm not, oh, wait, no, here, these are a pair. These little gold danglies. I feel like the rest of what I'm seeing does not have a pair. These are like really, oh my gosh, I don't even know if I'll be able to show these. These are like really tiny pendants to go on necklaces. They are like super small. Um, ooh. yeah, the rest of what's in here, I would say does not have a pair. These are just like random, random earrings without a match. There's some safety pins in there, some dust, some dirt, and what looks like an old rubber band. <laughs> but that is pretty well everything for this box of jewelry. So all of this stuff for just five dollars um i definitely feel like that was a fantastic deal um so you guys have to let me know what you thought down in the comments if you like what your favorite piece was um and you know if you have any insight into anything um just let me know <laughs> down in the comments so i hope you guys enjoyed if i ever come across another big shoe box full of jewelry or anything like that we'll do a video Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time.